Good morning, it's Bordeaux Rose here. I am coming at you with another update, review kind of thingamajigga. Listen, when I per first purchased this Beauty Bakery flower powder, it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was great. It was perfect. All that good stuff. And then that was like the first one that I purchased. Then I went on to purchase again. And oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm adjusting you guys. Uh, I went on and purchased it again and it just did not work for me. And I purchased a bunch of them at one time because you know how they were having like a sale. I think like buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off, something like that at Ulta. So I ended up buying like four of them or something like that. I cannot remember, but I just kept trying to support the brand. And then when I would use them, it was like, wait a minute, this is like, this powder is not right. Like something is not right about this powder. It's too dry. It was drying up my under eyes. The brown powder that I have is just not brown. It's more like orange brown. So I was like, what is this? Is this more for like darker skin people with the under eyes? Maybe that's what I was thinking. Maybe I picked it up thinking that it was a all over setting powder and it, it can't be not for me. And I don't see how it could be for anyone of color. Um, This is really orange in my opinion, that's a really, really orange. Like, so I'm thinking that it's for a darker skin tone to highlight the under eye. That's the only thing I could think of, but we're gonna try to use this powder again. Excuse me. We're gonna try to use this powder again as setting powder for not only the under eye, cause I have the banana for the under eye, but um, we're going to also use this brown. We're going to try to use the brown just a little bit all over the face. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I feel like I'm going to sabotage my makeup today with that. But we're going to try it. I spent a lot of money on this stuff. So we're going to try it. I don't want to just trash it. Okay. Um, so far, I'm at the point where it's time to do foundation. I already did my two-minute brows. Um, I did a video on how I do my brows in under like two minutes when really and truly it's more like 30 seconds. <laughs> so I need to do an updated video so people can find it because it's like way down in my archives and it's an old video. So maybe I'll do another one um, to show people, you know, how it's done really quickly. <laughs> So the, the foundation that I'm using today is the Fit Me foundation. I normally use the NYX, but I went back to using my Fit Me because I had a bottle here that was not finished. And I really was like, why did I stop using the Fit Me foundation? Because this is actually a really good foundation. I'm not too sure why, what made me, um, you know, what made me not. Like, I don't get it why I did that, but it is what it is. I'm going to just take a tad more and just kind of go over my dark spots a little bit more. Hold on. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. Okay. Just like a tiny, tiny bit. That's all you need. Um, Normally what I do is I conceal before I put foundation. But if I don't conceal, this is the way that I do it. I put my foundation on first. And then I go over all my dark spots with just a little bit more. um, Just a little bit more foundation to kind of like conceal them a little bit. But remember, you're going to be putting like layers on so you don't need to put too much foundation. That is really the clue to not having very cakey makeup. Okay, so nice one, nice uh, layer is what we have, okay? And then now we're gonna go in with our concealer. Oh, and the color I am in Maybelline Fit Me is 356 if you wanna try it and you think you're my complexion. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is go in with concealer. I have a whole little bucket of it here. And the colors I'm going to go in with is Deep Cinnamon from e.l.f. I like to mix because I can't find my exact and tan neutral from e.l.f. as well. I'm going to use those two. Normally, I use a ColourPop and an e.l.f., but today I'm going to mix 
elves, mixed elves. So this is the deep cinnamon color. Okay, and if I just didn't want any highlight, I would use this under my eyes alone. But I'm always wanting a little bit of highlight under my brows. I just ordered that P. Louise, um, what is it? The eyeshadow base. I cannot wait for it to come because I really want to see if it works well. Now I need my mirror because I cannot see well. All right. So like I said, I like to mix it. to get like my perfect under eye highlight for the daytime. At night, I would have just used tan neutral and highlighted with that, but it's daytime and I don't want a really bright highlight, okay? Okay, I don't know if anybody does a nighttime and a daytime um, concealer like I do, but this is what we doing. This is what we doing. Oh, I didn't finish putting on my jewelry. While my concealer dries down, I finished putting on my jewelry, my wedding ring. I put everything else on. I have my necklace on. I have my watch on, my bracelet on. One of my bracelets broke. So, okay, that is done. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put my primer on. Ah. Okay, so I'm super oily, and I've said that I do not like primers in the past. I don't wear them, but something about this Hydrate Pore Professional, it doesn't, it doesn't like keep my skin from getting oily. What it does is if I blot my oil, my, my makeup still stays together. Any other primer that I've used, I'll blot and my makeup will just go away with it, with the blotting, okay? But for some reason, this holds the makeup to my face, so I still have it. <laughs> But um, I still get oily, you know what I mean? Um, but it still takes a while to get oily when I use this. So, but you know, it ain't bad. It ain't bad or whatever. It, it works. You know, it works. I don't know what happened to my my brow gel. Here, wait. But I need her. Oh, here she is. I found her. This is the e.l.f. brow gel I'm going to be using in a little bit. I forgot that I had this bag packed. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my powder okay it's already out there's some already out and this thing gets everywhere okay so i have to be very careful with it um i'm going to blend out my concealer Okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to go into the powder. Okay. Wait. Okay, I just want to make sure it was blended out properly. I'm going to go into the powder. I'm going to dab off the excess. Because this powder really does like... Oh, it leaves you dry. Huh? Well, Okay, pick some up. Okay, 
take a little bit more out of the thingamajig, tap off the exo. Okay, so it doesn't look bad. Okay, maybe it's just one of those powders that you can't go in ham with. Okay, maybe that's just what it is. So, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going to attempt to set the rest of my face with the brown color, okay? Okay, so that doesn't look bad. That works, okay? The test of time will be later, but it's fine. It's fine. The application is fine. I was having a problem with the application as well. So, okay, so the banana, okay, you get to stick around. You ain't going in the trash. Let's get into this brown, okay? Because maybe the brown is just not for me. This is the brown. You guys, I am so scared. Okay. So basically what I've learned from using this um, powder is that you have to go in with a really light hand with it. When I use all of my other powders, my Cody Airspun, my, um, what's the other one? The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana, I just put it on, I can put on how much I want, brush it off and it's great. For some reason when I put this on like that, just willy nilly, like I could put a bunch and bake with it and all that stuff. I can't bake with this. It dries me out and I have super oily skin. So that's super weird to me. Okay. But I'm going to just put a little bit of, so the banana stays. I'm going to put a little bit of this powder here. I'm going to brush off my brush real quick because I have like residual from other stuff. Okay. And then I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to go on with a clean brush. Okay. Just to give this a fair shot. Okay. All right, I just dust off the dust off the top because it's been sitting up there. You see? Dust. It's been sitting up there. All right, going in with a clean brush, and I'm going to just swirl my brush around in here. Tap off the excess. And just set my face. It's just too red. It's too red to me. But I have to do what I did over there, over here. See how red that is compared to, it's red, like orange. But like I said, I don't know if it's meant to be. I probably can get away with it. It's not so bad. I guess you just have to use this powder with a really light hand. So I'm going to use it just to finish it, but I won't repurchase it because I don't like how red it is. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but in person, you could see the redness. So... I will not be repurchasing this powder, not the brown one, but I will repurchase this. I will use this and I will repurchase it because it set my under, sorry, it set my under eye really, really well. Okay, really, really well. And it doesn't look dry and crepey. So if you don't mind, stick around. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna show you this look that I'm gonna do with the, um. Juvia's Place palettes and you let me know if you like it. It's going to be a quick and simple look, but it's going to be pretty and it's going to match this dress just perfectly. I'll be quick. I'm actually setting with my normal um, setting powder. I use this all the time. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Chai. It matches my complexion. Perfect. Okay. 
Thank you, Jackie Ina, for helping formulate my favorite, favorite, favorite freaking powder foundation. Yes, I said with powder foundation. I just do it very lightly. All right, so I'm going to go in with the Mocha Mommy. I done hit pan on this thing, okay, but it's it's a staple. Like, But I won't be using it for a while because I have some other bronzers that I purchased that I need to use up that I actually really like. Um, so I probably won't be using this for a while once this is done, um, but it's okay. Once all my bronzer is done, I would say that this is a this is a this is an item that I would not mind repurchasing if I wanted to. I would. So, um, but right now I have pro palettes. Not that I'm a pro, but I just buy pro palettes because I like the fact that I, there's so many different things I could do with them. Because even though some of the colors are too light for me in pro palettes, um, I can use them as eyeshadow or whatever the case may be. You know. I love to use them while I'm traveling. It really helps me out because most of them, most pro palettes with bronzers and stuff like that, they have highlighters as well. So I use the um, highlighters as eyeshadow and the bronzers as, you know, like my little uh, crease color or whatever the case may be. And it works really, really well. So um, that is something that I do. nose contour I don't know I've been really loving contour on my nose lately does that mean I want a skinny nose maybe I like the look let's say skinnier because this by far is still not skinny but skinnier I like the look did you see Candy Burris's daughter just got her nose done what is your opinion on that my opinion is, girl, who gonna check you? Do you, shoot, especially if you got the coins. Especially if you got the coins. I, nobody could tell me that they're 100% happy with who they are. Nobody can sit here and tell me that they are. There's always a little something you'd love to nip tuck, okay? So cut it out, cut it out. Don't be shaming that girl. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little flower powder here and I'm going to create a little tiny cut right here. I lift mine a little higher because my face is so chunky and round. Um, actually, it's not all the way. It's not. I don't know. Is it oblong? I don't know. But um, I lift mine a little higher just to give that. I don't have cheekbones. I know that much. <laughs> so I lift mine's really, really high. Some people I know do it down here. I do mine up so that it can carve my face a little bit better. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put these powders away. But yes, I would repurchase the banana, the brown, not so much. It's just way too brown for me. Way too orange for me. It's something that I will not be able to use. Not for my complexion anyway. All right. So we're going to jump into the Juvia's Place palette real quick. It's way back here. <laughs> real, real, real quick. Real, real quick. I mean, like, quick, quick. All right? Um, and we're going to use this color. First, we're going to go back into our bronzer and just create a little crease. Because this barely has a crease. So we're going to create a little crease here okay see So I created a little crease here, okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my purple 
This is the Wahata, <laughs> which means drama in Nigerian. Um, we're going to go in with the purple. I keep hearing that song, um, Girls in the Hood in My Brain, from, um, what's her name? Meg The Stallion. F being good, I'm a bad. <laughs> it just keeps playing in my brain. Don't ask me why. But I'm going to use this color here. It's called Woke. Woke. I'm going to use that all over the lid. Juvia's Place does not have a, um, what is it called? A mirror in her palette, which drives me bananas. Woke looks really deep in the pan but it is very light when you put it on which i could appreciate because i love this color i wore it the other day and was like floored and this is a quick easy look when you want a pop of color you just put that color all over the lid Blend out the edges, like quick one, two, okay? Quick, quick one, two. Look at that. That's it. And then you get your liner. Because you see all the black little stripes. Get your liner. This liner, this side always comes out really good. When I go to do the side, I'll wait till you see what happens. So, um, I just color it in. The liner that I'm using, I just purchased the freaking Beauty Bakery liner, which is $18. I don't know why I did that. But here's the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Liner. Super cheap. I think this thing was like 2 or $3. And it is the bomb. I've been using it for the longest. It lasts so long. Like, people sleep on this. This is the best affordable liner I have ever used. Especially if you like that little, especially if you like a sharp line. This is good. This one always give me trouble. Okay, it's working. Okay, so see how quick, like you could just do a look with a color if you want some pop of color and you're not afraid. You just boop, boop. I always take my black gel liner and just um, tight line with it so that you can't see the flesh underneath. You know, your skin, your, um, if you don't put that on, if you don't do this, you see that little skin under there. And I hate that look. Especially if you're going to put on, like, falsies and stuff like that. You cover the entire thing. And I'm not going to, um, go under the eyes with the liner today. 
Um, this is actually even too makeup, too much makeup for what I'm doing today, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, you see what's happening here? Okay, that I completely forgot about this. I completely forgot that that's another reason why I stopped using this powder. It 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 creases. It's not creasing bad, but it creases. Um, if you have like, these are lines that are like normal for me. I've had them since I was born, basically. They're hereditary. Everybody in my family has them, these lines. And this powder is settling and breaking down my concealer. I don't get this problem when I use Cody Airspun or the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. We're gonna pop a lash on a very, it's not bad, like I said, but it's happening. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop a lash on. I actually wore this lash yesterday. I like to use my lashes more than once. Ochre, ochre, don't judge me. Um, so where is my lash glue, sis? Oh, here it is. <laughs> right in front of my face but yeah this is the look that I'm giving you today this is Bella's faces Bella's with an S faces with an S that's the website best lash glue I've tried ever in my life especially if you're a freaking um newbie with two lashes if you're a newbie to lashes you need this it doesn't take forever to freaking dry and you know where you're a newbie you're like all oh, like excited to try to put it on duo glue it takes forever to dry but this one does not dries down invisible Okay, very light lash, very natural, because we're doing something that requires natural makeup today. <laughs> Not this shadow, though. <laughs> okay, so... Put some more glue on. Highlight and blush. What am I gonna use for highlight and blush? Let's see. I have like a kind of like a purple highlight, but I'm not going to use it today. As far as blush, let's see what I have. I have a purple blush I'm going to use very lightly, very lightly, very lightly. I like a monochromatic look. I really like a monochromatic look.
time is looking good. My time is looking good. Okay, so now we're going to use our purple blush. Have you ever tried a purple blush? I'm gonna use this same brush. Let me dust it off that I was using for the um, I put my blush on real 1970s. That draping, I love a draped blush. Some people put their blush like right here. I don't like that. I go like, it's called draping. It's an old school makeup um, trick. So now I'm going to use this highlighter. I'm gonna move this cause she in my way. Okay. So now we're gonna do highlighter, okay? We're gonna use my Jaclyn Hill, my all favorite. This is my favorite highlighter. And I use all three colors. Dust off the excess. I'm gonna go into my inner corner. And now for a lip, let me show you what we're gonna do today for a lip. Let me put my blush back. Let me put back all of these brushes. this back all right put our sponge away because we're done with that um really quick put some brow gel on okay now for <laughs> I'm gonna drop this daggit mirror again Okay, so now for the lip, I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place Toffee because I feel like I want a nudie kind of look with this. This is it. Let me just show you. Oh. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. It feels so good. My makeup look is done. It is all the way done. So anyway, I'm going to go off camera, go do my hair, and get out of Dodge because I got somewhere to be today. But thank you guys so much for watching this updated review on the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Again, I'm going to round, round up my opinion. I think that the under eye setting powder is okay if you do not have any creases in your eyes. Now, um, like I said, it's it, it set just fine as you can see, but the creasing, I have the creasing, I have the creasing. It's not bad, it's not that noticeable. You can't really tell, but I do have it. So um, that's the only problem, it creases just a little bit. Um, other than that, the banana powder is great. I'm going to actually keep using it. Okay. I'm going to probably just try to, I don't know, get it in the creases. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to keep using it. I have it or whatever. Would I repurchase it? I don't know because my El Cody Airspun and my Wet, Wet n Wild Photo Focus does not crease my concealer. Um, and when I use those, I don't have that problem. And I use those same concealers. Um, what's next? The brown one. The brown one is too orange to set my entire face. Maybe if you are that complexion, that will work for you, but it doesn't. So I had to go in with my um, Too Faced Born This Way powder foundation that I normally use in the color Chai. Um, but I'm not saying that it's bad. It just didn't work for me, okay? Um, so 
that's basically it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe, um, share, all that good stuff. And have an amazing, amazing day. Positive vibes, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Mm.